Good morning, everybody. I'm Tom with Kentucky Power Sports, and what I want to show you today is one of our Stealth Nomad toy haulers. These uh, trailers are pretty cool. So if you're uh, used to going to those uh, ATV parks or side-by-side -side parks on the weekends, or you're looking for something to haul your equipment out there and maybe be able to even spend the night, hey, this could be the trailer for you. This is, uh, this is a cool piece of equipment here. So you can see on the front of this thing, we'll start right at the front of it, you got a two and five sixteenths bumper pull hitch. Um, also, you've got your rack for your propane tanks. And then right up top here, you got your uh, generator rack. And so we kind of go around the trailer. Um, you can see it's a V-nose trailer. It's got about a 36 inch slant nose on it. And then inside this V-nose or slant nose, you can see that uh, it's actually used for storage. You can see right now we've got your propane tank stored in there. Also is uh, your fresh water tank. That's a 30 gallon fresh water tank. And your water pump, which is up underneath your box here, uh, is a 12 volt water pump system to help uh, push water through the trailer. And then as we continue around the side, you can see this thing comes with a standard uh, RV style door. It actually is a um, door with a screen door, RV style steps. And I believe Stealth actually refers to this as a deluxe RV door. Um, as we come on down the side a little bit further, you can see we've got uh, your outlets here. Um, also boxes uh, set up so you can hook up your cable TV. Um, you got a mount here for your television. <clears throat> axles. You've got two 7,000 pound Lippert axles uh, on this uh, trailer um, with radial tires. The actual weight on this trailer is about 6,200 pounds. So with these axles, your payload should be right around or just over 7,700 pounds. Um, you can see your windows, exterior windows. Right here is a stereo speaker. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. We actually have the uh, stereo playing right this second. As we continue down the side, you might take note of your LED marker lights. There's a couple of them uh, on there. All of your hinges and hardware on this door is a, uh, is a zinc coated uh, material so it should keep down the rust. <clears throat> they also have ramp doors uh, with a transition ramp. Now this ramp is, uh, the capacity on the ramp is about 4,000 pounds. Actually, it might be about 4,400 pounds. Uh, and we'll get into the inside of the trailer here in just a second. So as we keep coming around the back of the trailer, you can see all your red, all your LED uh, brake lights, marker lights all the way across the top. Also on this side, uh, you got the LED lights. Another window on this side. Um, actually, you've also, up towards the front of the trailer, we've got, uh, if you wanted to, I don't, on, on this side, I believe there's another um, cable hookup. So if you want to hook up television on this side for some reason, you got that hookup right there. And you can see you got your seven way uh, twist plug so you can actually plug into um, you know, electricity at the, at the park, wherever you, at, wherever you happen to be camping at. As we continue right back towards the front, we got utility showers. Um, right there is your gravity feed for your fresh water tank so you can hook up the city water. Uh, and then if you wanted to, you could convert this thing to actually solar power. So it's got the, uh, it's already pre-wired for solar power um, if you want to get into that. So at this point, we'll go inside the trailer, show you some of the features and benefits uh, of the uh, toy hauler from the inside. One of the biggest questions we get asked about these trailers, what is the entry level on your uh, garage door? So from the floor to right about here, which is all the space you got, we're right at 82 inches. Um, something to uh, keep in, uh, in mind, especially when you're trying to figure out whether or not your side-by-side -side will fit in this trailer. As we come on up in the trailer, you can see that on the floor here, we've got three sets of E-Track. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with trailers, you know what E-Track is, with a couple D-rings along with uh, one of your uh, receptacles. The receptacle actually has uh, USB ports in it. And then right over here to our left is our switch for your exterior garage entry lights that uh, you can switch on and off when, it's, uh, when you come back uh, from a late ride. Continuing on up into the trailer, your width between the walls is actually 96 inches. But here's something that's real important. As we come a little further into the trailer, you can see I've got interior wheel wells. So right between the wheel wells, you've actually got uh, 80 inches between your wheel wells. Um, something that you would need to keep in mind. Your interior height is actually right at seven feet. Seven feet. 
um, your walls are insulated with a polystyrene board, then um, your floors are actually um, underneath this rubberized uh, coating. You've got three quarter inch Georgia Pacific Dry Max. Your walls have your polystyrene, then you have a three eighths uh, Georgia Pacific Dry Max on the walls covered with this uh, vinyl as well as your interior roof is covered with vinyl. Continuing forward, I've got Two bunks, you actually can turn them into a couch or a bunk, they're 72 inches, so there's uh, room for a couple people to sleep. Uh, at the back of the trailer, you could probably put a portable cot or something like that. So as we keep coming, you can also see we've got smoke detectors, I've got interior speakers for your stereo system. Uh, the trailer to the front section, so this thing is called an FK, which means front kitchen, right? Which we're gonna to get to that in just a second. So your length from this wall to your back of your trailer is exactly 23 foot. So that is something that's uh, real important and that's uh, another big question that we're asked all the time. The trailer is also equipped with heat. It's equipped with television. You've got interior LED lights, which we just like kind of walk by. We've got uh, a roof vent here. Uh, as we come on a little bit further, you can see that you've got your panels to um, actually um, monitor your waste tank and your, uh, and your water fill tank uh, or your fresh water tank. Stereo system, which we happen to have hooked up. Turn that back down so you hear, but uh, pretty cool. Thermostat on the wall for your heater. Um, more interior light switches. As we come up a little bit closer, we've got your uh, standard RV single well sink. You got a um, two burner stove along with uh, a microwave, a little bit of overhead storage, more uh, receptacles, and I believe they do have. Oh, this one, no, that's the GFI receptacle right there. We have a mini fridge on, on the uh, front kitchen model as well. Up underneath this cabinet, some more storage. Your hot water heater is up underneath there. And if you were to look inside here, it's got a standard uh, RV style toilet and a, a shower. The shower is actually big enough for a guy my size. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll walk up in there so you can kind of see. Plenty of room, plenty of headroom. I'm uh, about five foot 11, so we should be good there. Also has a medicine cabinet. Got some robe hooks in here as well as your uh, toilet paper hanger. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the Stealth Nomad trailer. Uh, one last thing I do want to mention, you may have noticed I didn't say anything about AC. This particular unit does not have AC in it. But I tell you what I'm going to do. You come on down to Kentucky Power Sports, tell me you want to take this home. I'll throw in the AC for free. Um, the only thing I can't do is throw in the labor to hook it up. You can either take the AC home, hook it up yourself, or we can get that done. Uh, but come on down to Kentucky Power Sports, ask for myself, ask for Cole. We'll be glad to show you the amenities on this thing and make sure that we get you in a uh, toy hauler that works for your situation. Thanks for watching our videos.